Hey guys, it's Mike Berg. You know me? Michael J. Berg? Yeah? Hi, how are ya? Hey, I'm gonna do a little, a little explanation on reversing fans. I got a tick today. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... And then following this part of the video, I'm gonna show Kyle cleaning out of... Uh, it's a Ponce. Ponce. And it doesn't have a reversible fan. And I think nowadays they do, the newer ones, but anyways, um, what the difference can be, you'll see in the cleanliness of that fan. Um, but I just wanted to show, this is the brand I've always used. I've put them on countless machines, forestry machines, especially in the pine season, the pollen season, fall, leaves, all that good stuff. But we had a catastrophic failure the other day. Did you get that? Catastrophic failure. Hell, it was a month ago already, and we just figured out what we just figured out what we was gonna do, and we all was gonna put on a new fan, and that all new fan that showed up there on uh, yesterday. So I'm gonna give you a little demonstration, demonstration of how they work. I don't have the control box, but basically what it is is a, a small independent. You need electricity to it, like 12 volts, 24 volts. And that's it. And uh, depending on the manufacturer or the engine, they make the hub to fit specific. And it's for the engine mounts. I don't know if they do them. Anyways, it's for on the engine. Um, in this case, it's on a Fabtech or a Cat, whatever. I know Timber Pro uses them. They did at one time. I don't know if they still do. It depends. But they're a good product. And what I didn't know about it is. When I called up to order the new one, he looked up the old serial number, my buddy up there, and uh, he said, oh, that was put on in 2006, and the life expectancy of that fan without rebuilding it or changing the blades, and that's what happened. You can see the blades just fatigued over time. They are, after all, some kind of uh, plastique. Um, Anyway, so that, that had a problem. It, it let go and it took out the rest of them. And so, and that's your old style. That's the new style. So what I'm just going to show you how they work. It's as simple as I was saying. It's a timer in a box with a small air compressor. It needs 12 volts. You need a wire. You run a, cap, a wire up into the cab so you can manually run it if, you, if you're in really adverse conditions. Otherwise, it's just set with a timer. So if you're running, it automatically goes on and... Uh, there's no pilot lines, there's nothing. Just one single airline. And that's what I'm gonna demonstrate with you. And it's so simple and so cool and just they work so good. Anyways, I'm gonna show you. I have to set this up, so bear with it to me. Let's see if I can do this. Then I'll go right into that other video. So when the timer says go, and of course I got an air hose out of out of reach here. You're going to notice this one is going to leak too. So you're going to notice it needs a, uh, uh, it would have needed a rebuild kit, a seal kit. You can hear it. So it's very simple. Then it's time to go so long. Reverses and it blows the crap out of your radiator. Spring return. Pretty cool, huh? Now we're going to take the new van. And you're made in Canada, by the way. Oh, Canada! So I'm going to bring this guy over here a little closer to you. And uh, you watch the new one and listen. Of course, it's brand new. Oh, that's me. That's still me. You don't hear any leakage. And you can actually see they're going further than the old one into reverse. So I think, I think uh, we got our money's worth out of the old one. Other than it took out a radiator, but 
just like that. I like them because they're so simple. Like I said, you get a box, you mount it on your machine. It's about the size of a, I don't know, it's, it's not much bigger than a shoe box. Not work boots, shoes. Hey, my lens is dirty. Anyways, you can just deal with that. Uh, so they're, they're a clean fix out of uh, Stratford, Ontario in uh, Canada. So anyways, this showed up yesterday. And as soon as we get his radiator put back together, um, we're going to go install this. And now just stay tuned because I'm going to have a bunch of clips of Kyle cleaning uh, uh, this oil cooler on this machine. This this is a little different setup, but it it is after all for an oil cooler. And this machine, they suck the air through just like a, like a ray, uh, engine. Blah 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 blah. But we opted to take it off the machine and clean it out. You know, guys out in the woods pressure wash them and all that good stuff. But uh, just watch. There's just it just. I think he spent a good hour just cleaning and we used fin coil cleaner for AC units and blah 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 and the filth and dirt and hopefully with any luck that is cures the problem. There, There is a... Just watch. Hey and if you know anybody that wants to subscribe, have them subscribe, subscribe to my panel channel and I appreciate it. So off we go. Watch and learn. Thanks for watching. And uh... You need one of these forestry. I know I'm not sure. I'm waiting for that other guy to put that hydraulic, that other brand, the competitor to this one on there. But he's talking about pilot lines and these hydraulics, and I'm like, well, then, uh, okay, we'll see what happens. We'll talk to you later. What are you doing, Kyle? Are you cleaning the radiator? Oil cooler. What do you mean? Take that shroud off. You know who else was having problems with that on, on his machine? Logger Wade. He just, they buried it last week, or the week before, whenever the, the video time frame is. And he got all full of mud, and then he ordered what they call a, somebody called it a trash radiator. It's got real wide openings, and then he's putting a reversing fan on that din din, that cat. That's what we thought. She's still plugged. We're gonna try that. We're gonna try that and make the life go better. All right, you take that off. I'm gonna just stand here and look good. There's Troy, man. Troy Dirt. Where'd you get that hook from? Cherry, cherry picker. picker? I'm gonna do some modifying to it. Okay. That looks like wheat. That's pine needles and dirt. See how black it was coming out? Mm -hmm. Now he's making noise. I'm gonna teach you something then. I'll teach while he's over there making noise. The worst part about these. Where's the worst part, Kyle? 
them. They're the, when you guys clean them out there in the world on YouTube land, the shroud is round, right? The dirt always collects, not where the fan rolls, but here in the center and out of the corners. So that's 25% of the fan. If you don't get these corners clean in the center where the fan sits, then you're losing 25%. So you gotta get them clean all the way. Maybe we should get them a reversing fan too. I don't think there's room in there to put one. That's hydraulic, so we'd have to have a whole bunch of valves and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Are you still gonna take that shroud off? Mm -hmm. Good man. That's what Mike said to do. That's why he's gonna do it. Mm -hmm. He's just making fun. Okay, for two years. Stop. Huh, you learned to do it. Some of them, that's the way to do it. 